This is a blade 130X with uh, tail issues. It starts to wobble pretty hard in midair. And I found out that it has to do something with the torque tube. If you flex it to the right and left, you can see it is way too much and it shouldn't be that much. It should be way more stiff. Here you can see this, uh, the crack again. So we need to fix that. In order to do that, we first need to unscrew the supports, lower them so they don't um, get in the way. and disconnect the tail servo from the main electronics. Once that's done, uh, we need to loosen up the tail case and pull out the tail assembly. Uh, this little gear is important, don't lose that, we will need that later on. I just noticed that one of the swash plate servos is holding back the connector of the tail servo, so this one needs to be removed too. Now that we separated the tail assembly from the helicopter, we can start disassembling the remaining parts. Just loosening up the screws is enough to slide the parts off. To complete the disassembly, we need to remove the tail case. And after that we are done. There is a relatively big crack in the torque tube, which makes it lose its strength. After I found the correct replacement part, we can start to reassemble it. Just in the reverse order. Be careful not to over tighten the screws because then they could break. Which is pretty common by small screws. Now we need to put the um, gear which drives the tail shaft in place and put the tail assembly back in. Everything fits perfect and nothing is blocking so that's good. Now we need to route the servo cable, the tail servo cable through the right place and reassemble the uh, swash plate servo. Don't forget to reconnect the tail servo plug. and 
tightening the screws that we worked on. Uh, last flight check is done and as you can see it looks all good. And yes I know I'm not the best pilot but try flying indoor with limited space. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> 